episode 15 of Leftovers. Do whatever it takes to One question I have for you guys. Chips or fries? That is the question. With your hamburgers, with your sandwiches, chips or fries? How do you like that? <laughs> Don't forget, we got open lobby tonight. At about 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, that's when I get it started. PlayStation, Bill Keys, B-L-L-K-Y-Z. Alright, so let's jump into today's topics. It is uh, very interesting. This one goes a little bit off the beaten path. It's not gaming related per se, but it's one of those topics that that's what this is all about, the leftover show. It's definitely about any topic that I feel that I want to talk about that I didn't do an individual video about. I'm going to talk about it. So at first I wasn't, but now I was like, who would I be if I didn't just talk about it? You know, Being with someone, even if you don't like them, We've lost control. of course this talks about relationships, things like that, but some people what happens is you start off good, and then you don't. Now, I'm not no relationship expert. You know, I've only been with my wife since 1997. We've been married since 2002. And our relationship's never near perfect. But we damn sure work at it every day. And, and my wife's not just someone that I love. She's my best friend. And I know it's cliche and all that stuff, but it's the truth, you know, in my relationship. You know, we have our moments, we argue. We have our moments, we bitch. We have our great moments where we have a good time. So, we like a lot of things and we, dis we disagree on a lot of things. But, I never feel, and this happens a lot because I'm from a small town. A lot of people stay together for kids. And, man, I don't know. I don't, I feel that it hurts the kid more. I don't know. You guys are a little bit younger than me, and maybe you've been through a, a family, a mom and dad that stayed together for the kids and they got a divorce after you got older. If you want to comment in the comment section, let me know how, how did it work out. Would you think it would have been better if they just ended it when you were younger and go ahead and just have, you know, let them get a divorce and things like that and, you know, move on in their lives and then still be a part of your life, of course. So let me know. Young women, young, young men, please let me know that. But for a relationship, even when you're in high school or younger, don't just be with someone just because. You know, if you can't just joke around and have a good time and be yourself around this person, that that's kind of what I'm trying to get at here. That's one thing about my wife is I can always be myself. Don't get me wrong, sometimes even I get out of hand sometimes. But overall, I can always be myself. And that's all I got to say about that. Now, moving on. Is a like... Enough on YouTube. I guess it depends on how big you are or how small you are. But for me, if you come and like my video and that's all you want to do, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm a little... I, I don't know. Because I always feel I give you guys something to talk about. And we'll stay up. I didn't stab him. like I shot him. I want my headshot, by the way. That's what I was going for. Getting diamond. You got to get them headshots. So, getting back... I always feel, I'm glad that you guys like the video, but when you're smaller, unfortunately 10 more likes I don't think is going to make a difference. I'd much rather someone leave a comment. Now when you're bigger, that there ever was a time that, for example, someone would see me like a video on my Twitter and I was I had 50,000 followers, that would help someone out. So it's kind of a, you know, depends. But I would definitely be honest, guys. I would much rather you leave a cool comment and let me have something I can reply to or just even say, nice video, Billy. Great job. Keep up the good work. I'll be back next week to watch all your leftovers videos. Changing. Hint, hint. <laughs> so, but honestly, is a like enough? Do you have to be big time for a like to matter? Because I'm going to be honest, you know, 10 like, extra likes is not going to make a difference when you only get like 30. That's just my opinion. And definitely that's what the comment section is for you guys' opinion. So... Variety on YouTube, and what I mean by this is posting, and I've talked about this a little bit on other videos and things like that, but I'm going to be honest, I, I don't feel that variety, if you want to start doing YouTube and you're just going to do Call of Duty, it's been done before, yes, but you need to find a niche. I don't follow that guideline per se, because I'm going to post what I want to post, and I enjoy what I post, but I do post videos that I want views for, so... You know what I mean? It's just, it's kind of a give and take, per se. So definitely, I think variety is good once you read a certain critical mass. People hate that word, but once you reach a certain critical mass. But you need to find a niche. You need to find 
It's really weird because here lately there's a lot of things going on. Nintendo, Grand Theft Auto, all those games you can't post. But the point is is that you need to find some type of niche. Even in Call of Duty, if it's just trolling, or if it's just just getting 100 plus games, or there's always got to be some type of niche. Because guys who just do Let's Plays, most majority of the people who are popular just do Let's Plays. So it's hard to say. I'm always going to do variety. Like, for example, I do two, I do about two, three commentaries a week, and then I give you guys some other games. I might not commentate behind them, but when football season comes, PlayStation 4 comes, things like that, I'm going to be playing some different games that are probably going to do different games like that, definitely. But Call of Duty is my game. It's easy to record. I enjoy playing it, and that's why I do it mostly. You know, Far Cry, I mean, Far Cry videos are 10 minutes long, no matter what. You play a Team Deathmatch, 10 minute long game in Team Deathmatch is a little absurd when it's six, actually six on six from start. Same thing with Crisis. It's hard to play Crisis, there's nobody playing. So, so what do you think? Variety on YouTube? Yes, no. How do you feel? Do you like variety? Because the majority of us go to certain pages just because of that. So, make sure you leave that in the comment, guys. And like I always say, my name is Bill Keys, and you guys out there have a great and wonderful day. And if you stay to this point in the commentary, don't forget about the open lobby and also type in open lobby in the comment section. Peace. Real world. Sex sales player. You know, there's girls who've come a long way. Uh, and then now they don't talk to me. <laughs> I remember when I was subscribed to them and then I'm eventually unsubsubbed. But once they got famous and stuff like that, I'm not famous. Once they